So on X, I posted how the compact car and the Cybertruck is a trillion dollar business on its own and I got a lot of heat for it. Sheesh! It was really interesting. We had a half, well, more than half of people agreeing with me and then we got the other, the rest of them going like that. that's not realistic. If it's just a car company and why is it, why'd you put a value of PE on it and why are you going based on gross profits? You guys can check out the X right here or you guys can follow me on X. It was a crazy, crazy post. I had a lot of fun reading through every single comment. It was insane. But here's the thing, guys. This is called napkin math. The reason why I went based on gross profits and not net is we don't know what the operating costs are going to be for the Cybertruck and the compact car. We, we don't know that yet. So you go based on gross profits. But here I'm going to break it down and try to figure out what the operating cost and the other expenses could be so we can get a net and see what the actual value is going to be. And spoiler alert, I still got one trillion. So anyways, let's get down to it. Smash that like button if you haven't smashed it yet. Come on, man. And subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. By the way, guys, this chart will also be on Patreon too. So you guys can play around with this chart as well. But I have four versions here. Let's go with version number one. And that's just a compact car and the cyber truck alone. So that X is based on Ron Barron saying 5 million compact car being sold every single year. When is that going to happen? Could be 2029 or 2030 or as early as 2028, depending how quick they can ramp it up. The compact car is going to be a whole lot easier faster than the Cybertruck Model Y and the 3 because it's going to be a smaller car and less parts. And right now, Elon, if you guys have read the book, he's working as hard as possible to shave milliseconds off to make the rampage even faster and make as many compact car as possible. So I do think ramping the compact car is going to be extremely, extremely fast. So let's just say 2029 or 2030, whatever year you guys think is comfortable that Tesla is going to do. 5 million here i have it at 2030 just to keep things simple so 5 million compact cars by 2030 at an average selling price of twenty-five thousand dollars. now i do think this number will become less if they reach 5 million because cogs per each vehicle and economy of scale will benefit tesla's cost to make the compact car to the point that they can bring this down to as twenty thousand per each compact car to sell with also a 25% margin, which is absolutely insane. But with 25,000 with 5 million, we get $125 billion in just compact car revenue, which is more than, than today's, the, all, the whole year of 2023, absolutely insane. Give that a 20% gross profits, you get $25 billion in gross profits. Now I know in the post I said 15%, but let's go on with this. I will change it to 15% as we finish off this version. The Cybertruck. Elon said that they're aiming for 250,000 Cybertruck sales yearly. Now, if they need to make more, they will make more. They will in increase lines to make more. And I do think if they have 2 million pre-orders, and let's just say half of them cancel, you have 1 million, and then people see it on the road, people get to experience it. The, I mean, it's going to be a lot of orders, right? And I do think over more than 250,000, maybe 300, 400, maybe half a million a year just from Cybertruck, could be a realistic thing in the future. But nonetheless, we're gonna put 250,000 here because that's the kind of number that we have. Average selling price, most likely, based on the poll that I made on X, majority of you guys are thinking between 60 to 80 in the beginning, but then later on, it could be as low as 50 to 60. On average, I just put $60,000 on average selling price for the Cybertruck with revenue that's $15 billion just from the Cybertruck in a year. Give that a 20%. Again, I know I said 15% in the post. We'll come back to that 20% here. We get 3 billion in gross profits. That's total revenue for the compact car and the Cybertruck of 140 billion and a gross profit of 28 billion. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. And if we go based on these two alone and we give it an operating cost of 7 billion and taxes of around 1.5 billion, then we will we could get an income operations of 21 billion, a net income gap of almost 20 billion, which is absolutely insane because that, that's more than now. That's more than today's number. With a stock based compensation of half a billion, that's a net income non gap of 20 billion, the shares of standing of 3.25 billion, that's an EPS non gap of $6.15. If you give that at 50 PE, that is a stock price of 308 bucks per share and a market cap almost reaching a trillion. That's absolutely insane. But Pidgey, man, in the, in the post, you said 15%. And Cybertruck, you said 50,000. 
All right, let's do that. Let's let's bring those prices down. All right, let's go Cybertruck 60,000 to 50,000, 20% to 15% and 15%. And these are extremely conservative numbers with a 50 PE. That's a market cap of over $600 billion. That would mean a PE of around, let's say 80 to reach that 1 trillion mark. But nonetheless, a 15% gross profits. You think that's gonna, that's realistic for Tesla when they're ramping 5 million for compact car and over 250,000 for Cybertruck? Absolutely not. Right now, with all the price cuts Tesla's doing with their own, with their very, with the sexy models, is not even reaching 15%, and they're increasing prices now. And a lot of people are saying that 15% it should be more towards five, six percent because all car companies are five, six percent. Tesla's different. Tesla will reach 20% because of how they are cost effective with each vehicle and economy of scale. So that's why I'm going to put a 20%, 60,000 for the Cybertruck, and 20% for the Cybertruck as well. And that with a 50 PE, we get 1 trillion. But pitching that 50 PE for just the Cybertruck and compact car, that's just ridiculous. Well, why would you give it a 50 PE? It doesn't make any sense. When Toyota is at like 20 PE. First of all, Toyota has been stagnant for the past 10 years. In fact, if you go back for 15 years, they've maybe doubled the business. For Cybertruck and compact car, Tesla's not going to stop at 5 million. Next year is probably going to be around the 6 million. Cybertruck's gonna be probably probably going to be 300,000. And the gross profits are gonna increase with that as well. And the operating costs won't move as much because they're just using the same facility over and over again. And it'll benefit from economy of scale. And guys, you have to remember that Tesla is not a car company. The compact car and Cybertruck's they're robots to solve FSD. But okay, fine. If you just wanna look at Tesla and just the compact car and just the Cybertruck alone, and they're only making these two vehicles and they're not doing anything else, then yeah, 50 PE is too rich for that. I'll probably give it a 30 PE at that point, and that's half a trillion for just a Cybertruck and compact car if they're growing. And even then, I would say even 25 PE would make more sense around that time. But because they are not, and because they are solving a bigger problem, a 50 PE, and they're going very fast, a 50 PE makes sense in this case, and an operating margin of 15%, which is absolutely insane. Now that's version one. Version two, we're gonna be adding energy into this mix and see how things will change. Energy here, by 2030, I put 90 billion in revenue, although I do think it's gonna be more than that, but 90 billion in revenue, and 20% for the profits, or gross profits. That's 18 billion. For operating costs, I increased it, as well as taxes as well, because they're making more revenue, they're making more profits, and as of course, the energy does take a whole lot more operating cost to it. Now, I don't know if 10 billion is enough. It's really hard to see what the cost of each sector of Tesla's business is. That's, I'm just guessing here. Obviously, this is all a guess, all a prediction. Don't take everything here as facts. Take everything with a grain of salt, obviously, and do your DD. But I increased it. Naturally, if they're gonna add things like energy, then you would increase taxes because they make more money because they made money and you would increase the operating cost with as well. So with that, you get a total revenue of $230 billion and an income from operations of 36 billion, a net income gap of 30 billion and an income non-gap of 30 and a half billion. That'll give you an EPS non-gap of $9.38 and with a 50 PE again, that's a stock price of 469, which is quite ironic and a market cap almost $1.5 trillion. And to keep things simple, because there is an argument out there that you know 50 PE for this case is too low, some are saying too high, so I'm just gonna keep it right in the middle and keep it at 50 PE, that's it. And if you guys want access to this and play around with your own numbers to see what's realistic in this case, then you guys can check out the Patreon because you guys can do that there. So that's version two, adding energy to it. Now version three, we're going to be adding the sexy vehicles on top of it. Because obviously Tesla's not going to stop selling the model of the sexy vehicles when the compact car Cybertruck comes out. In fact, I should be adding semi onto this as well, but we're going to forget about the semi and stuff like that. It's just the sexy models. By 2030, I do think they will sell 7 million sexy models. The 3, the Y, the S and X all combined together of an average selling price of all of them around 40,000. That'll give you a vehicle revenue for the whole sexy model of $280 billion. I'm going to give it a very, very, very conservative gross profits of 15%. I do think it's gonna be more than that because COGS are gonna continue to go down and they're gonna make more profits per the three and the Y because of the economy of scale. So 15% is very conservative, and with that we get over well, just $42 billion. Total energy revenue and profits are still the same, they're not gonna be moved. Operating cost was doubled, and taxes has been increased by just more than 50% because they're making a whole lot of money, and that would give you a total revenue of five over half a trillion dollars, and an income from operations of 68 billion, net income gap of 58 billion, and non-gap of almost 59 billion, that's an EPS of $18 
and we'll give that a 50 PE. That's the stock price of 900 bucks per share and almost 2.9 trillion dollars if you add the sexy vehicles on top of the energy and the compact car and the cyber truck. Operating margin is less 13.3% because we are adding the sexy vehicles here and those bring in a lot of operating costs. Now here I do think that if we're just looking at Tesla's business only at this part, Maybe we can reduce the PE to a 40, maybe even to a 35 if Tesla is doing this. So around 2 trillion, 2.5 trillion, sure. But keeping it things in the middle because people are still saying 50 PE at this point is still too low and some are saying too high. So I'm going to keep it at 50 PE. And last but not least, version 4, we're going to be adding full self-driving to this. This is going to change absolutely everything. There's not going to be any Optimus or, you know, insurance, nothing. It's just going to be the FSD revenue and this is including licensing and when it's solved and all the Teslas can with a snap of a finger opt in for full self-driving 200 bucks a month so licensing and this all in here so if you guys are ready man smash that like button because this is gonna get juicy and this is the main reason why i'm all in into tesla stock the full self-driving so if you guys are ready again smash that like button so everything is the same exact same the only thing we're going to be adding is 80 billion dollars in revenue and if you guys want to know how i got this number here i actually rounded it down but you guys can check out my 2030 forecast here in the video i rounded it down but 80 billion dollars in revenue 60 percent in profits now this should be closer to 70 80 percent because licensing is practically all profits and when fsd does get solved the average tesla owner can just opt in 200 bucks a month that's around 60 65 percent but growing year over year but i just put here 60 percent. i mean this should be more but I'm just putting in 60% just to stay conservative and we get $48 billion in just profits. Operating costs, I increased it to $25 billion and taxes, 50% on top of that to $15 billion. I'm sure Tesla can do stuff here to reduce their taxes, to reduce their overall costs. But just keeping it here, that is a total revenue of almost $600 billion. Income from operations, over $100 billion. Net income, look at the jump. Net income gap, $96 billion and non-gap around 96 billion as well 97 billion actually close that is an eps non-gap of 29.69 which is funny again that's a stock price of 1500 bucks per share and a market cap of 4.7 trillion dollars and we're not even adding robo taxi here if we add that here insane but here's the thing 50 pe at this point if they're not doing robo taxi or optimus or insurance or anything else and we're just looking at this Maybe 50 PE is a bit too rich here because the question is, are they gonna be growing 40 to 30%? Most likely not, maybe 20%. I mean, if Robotaxi comes to play, 30%. That would mean a PE of around 40 would make more sense. Least, least I can see is 35, around 1,039. But again, some people are saying 50 PE is too low. Some are saying it's too high. In the middle, Here's the thing, Tesla is so hard to value this company. You got the car business, the energy, the AI, which the AI will become more than 50% of Tesla's business overall, sending it to trillions of revenue. And I know that sounds insane, but that's what, that, that's what I think is going to happen. That's what I strongly believe. And I'm not, I'm not talking about full-time driving. Full-time driving does play a massive role to it. But if Tesla's really serious about the bot and they want to bring it in, Operating costs won't even be this much in 2030 because then you'll have humanoid robots working at the plant, which they don't need to be paid. Absolutely insane. But nonetheless, this is all a prediction and a prediction alone. The Cybertruck and the compact car, if you give it a 50 PE and the 20%, all that stuff, just that business alone is worth a trillion just looking at these figures right here. I mean, these are numbers talking. A lot of people on X called me insane and crazy, but I mean... Anyone who talks about Tesla and what they're going to be in 5, 10 years from now, they call them crazy. That includes Elon. But hey, if you're trying to change the world, you got to have your ideas pretty darn crazy. But anyways, this is all a prediction, not facts. Do your DD. If you guys, again, want access to this, you guys can check out the Patreon. You guys can play around with this and have a lot of fun. But the question is, guys, here's the thing. We're all speculating right now, right? And if you're a Tesla investor, you find these numbers really, really interesting. Well, check out this video over here. 2030 stock price prediction, including everything, the bot, road tax, all that. I can't even fathom what the stock price is going to be then. It's insane. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. Guys, get your I bought the dip t-shirt. I'm wearing one right now. In 2030, you're going to be saying, huh, I bought the dip. Subscribe for more. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.